first of all, Thomas, um, what was the atmosphere like in the dressing room after the game? Because that was hard. They are tired. <laughs> Actually, they are really tired. They gave everything, uh, and it was necessary. I think. I don't know if there's any any worse pitch in the world uh, to go one man down so early, and uh, Liverpool playing towards the cop uh, cannot get tougher. I think so. Um, I think we deserved in the end to, to, to keep the clean sheet in second half. We defended uh, with a lot of resilience, a lot of quality, always active, a lot of courage and I absolutely loved it and I, I told the team that this is uh, fantastic and they should uh, be proud of what they did and uh, we showed what it took, have a bit of luck but um, never lost faith and it's nice. Romelu Lukaku stayed on for the entire game, yeah. considering how well time he's had and how much game time he had. Yeah. That was an incredible effort, wasn't it? It's hard for him, super hard for him uh, to have matches like this and one man down. Um, you know, I, I, I simply can also not understand why we don't have five, five possibilities to, to change. Everybody in whole Europe has five changes. We don't have, we play, the, we play the toughest league and we don't have, it will, in the end it will be a huge disadvantage in, in Champions League when we go to European competitions for all English teams. And of course today you would have loved to, I, I, I had uh, Hakim Ziyech, Timo Werner with speed and with quality to, to come from the bench and maybe maybe take, take Romelu off and maybe hurt him a little bit more with pace than only physical ability, but he did excellent uh, like everybody else and we had two changes at half time, so... But that's the technical right. side of it. You can't make an early change in the second half because you might go down to nine then. No, no, so. yeah, yeah. And then the game was too intense and imagine if somebody needs to go out with a cramp or, or something happens. You cannot, you cannot do the early change. We decided uh, to stay in a back five. That's why we took Kai Havertz off and, and uh, brought Thiago Silva in. And unfortunately... Um, um, and Golo had to go off at the same time, so it was already two changes. Yeah, from there we had to really stick together and, and fight hard. Can I ask you about the incident, uh, the sending off? Yeah. Did you see it? What's your feelings about it? Well, alive, I had, um, I, had, I had the hope that we escape, and maybe it was not a hand. Everybody was shouting hand, but sometimes it seems like hand ball and it's not. Then we heard uh, VAR coming and, uh, okay, you know, if VAR is checking, there must be some incident. We saw it, of course, also in the pictures at the bench and we saw the whole situation, the deflection, the movement from the hip, I think, to the arm. The arm not in a very unnatural position, so I was hoping that maybe we, 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 we can escape and he does not punish it. But unfortunately... I had the impression that the referee is only checking an image, a photo, and the photo was very clear, so I would have wished for a longer check, for a more careful check, to take into consideration that it was a deflection. Maybe it, he would have said it's the same decision, okay, then you have to live with it. In general, I'm not happy with the early red cards in games in general because it spoils the game. I have no solution what can be a solution or a fair uh, 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 decision or um, uh, a rule that it that it's, uh, uh, seems a bit more fair. I have no solution, but, but in general, I don't like it also to watch it. If I sit in front of a TV, watch a game like this, and then I, I see 45 minutes, one team down, it's a bit of a spoiler.